Let's begin our examination of the journey a market beef takes from birth to your plate. A cow-calf operation is often referred to as a ranch. Here a producer breeds cows to produce offspring with traits needed to pr produce a more desirable product in the most efficient manner. Here we talk to Jim Marlatt, an Angus producer in Valentine, Nebraska. Let's hear what he had to say. such that vaccinations were trying to, to assist the natural immunity. Uh, calves, when they're first born, will suck their mothers and they'll get their first uh, immunity via the colostrum from the mother cow. And then we're going to assist those cattle at branding when they're roughly 30 days of age and then again at weaning when they're six months of age to get their own immunity system jump started. Uh, and then generally, when they're a year of age, we'll go back in and give them an additional vaccination to get their immunity system uh, fully functioning. And then as cattle get to be mature, just as humans get to be mature, uh, vaccinations for immunities no longer we do. Now let's talk about feedlots. How many of you think that feedlots are inhumane for cattle? <coughs> well, I'm here to prove you that they are, they are very humane. We talked to Doug Keller, a feedlot owner in Kimball, Nebraska, about his operation. What is your feeding routine and um, ration for your feedlot cattle? Uh, the feedlot cattle, what we're using this year is we chop uh, either sorghum or oat hay, <coughs> corn silage, corn, and a protein going through that we're using in a total mix ration. Well, we uh, usually feed in the morning. Um, they have uh, automatic waters. They're um, frost-free water, so they don't have to break the grass or anything like that. Uh, the pen is dry. We have concrete areas to keep them um, out of the mud. And, uh, we like to have slope on the feedlot pens to make sure that they've got, you know, dry spot to lay and everything, that'll do a lot better that way. Now that we know how the beef we eat are raised, let's take a peek at how they move from breathing and eating to being eaten. We talked to the owners of Bruns Meat Services in Hemingford, Nebraska about their processing plant. Okay, um, on average, how long does it take to completely process your beef? Probably two hours. Two hours from start to finish? Really? Okay. Well. Slaughter, and then we hang them for two weeks, and then we cut them up. So 
the cutting up is two hours and the slaughtering is probably uh, 45 minutes. Okay. Um, because you are a small locally owned business, do you find it hard to keep up with customer demands? Yeah. Uh, we turn away probably as much business as we do because we don't have enough help mainly. But. Uh, and what kinds of meat do you process? Uh, beef, pork, uh, lamb, goat, buffalo. That's about it. Okay. Uh, last one. Do you believe that there are benefits to the way that you process meat compared to big factory processing? Or is it more personal? Uh, we just process for individuals and we try to cut it up however they want it cut up so that's mainly our business so. okay. Here at CSC, we offer many dining options, especially meat products. To answer the burning question of where our meat comes from, we turn to the head chef. It comes out of sushi. It's on. Uh, it's a. Uh, actually, usually, I eat beer. They call it. All our products basically are shamrock and from Colorado, which they buy. What do you guys do to like prepare your meat? Well, the roast beef right now. Uh, and as it's beef, we well, cut in half with olive oil. We use uh, a little garlic powder. That's some seasoned salt and black pepper. We gotta keep it pretty tame before we do it. It's hard to get too carried away. Okay. She just doesn't want to go on a date with us. Oh, wow. We were getting that. She never actually answered the question. Look at them go! This is awesome! It has been an incredible journey learning how beef goes from your pasture to your plant. It all started with a small ranch operation, a larger feedlot, a small town packer, and it ends with a large growing population to feed. This has been the most fun I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs>